Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Anime King 2. And today I'm going to be giving you part 12 of what if the 10 tails will seal within Naruto guys. Remember to get this one to 100 likes as usual, share this to all of your friends on your social media platform. And also guys, I'm going to be posting a new episode of what if Aizuna Uchiha was Naruto's ancestor on this channel so stay in tune for that and later on. Over on Anime King, I'm going to be posting a brand new episode of What If Naruto Returned Different After His Training Trip. I already posted a new episode of What If Naruto Was Sent to the Marvel World over there. So go ahead and check out that and enjoy. And remember, if you're new and this is the first time you hear my voice and you enjoy the videos on both Anime King and Anime King 2, go ahead and click that red subscribe button and become a part of the Anime King family. And thank you for all of your help and your support, guys. And also, Remember to comment down below and tell me if you're new, I'll be replying and talking back to all of you. So yeah, without further ado, let's begin this new episode. Start the intro. time we left off, Naruto descended upon Konoha as he released the first wave of uranium as everyone saw the green energy in the sky as the moment it touched them their skin started to crystallize as they turned into crystals as crystals ripped through their entire body their hearts killing them instantly as Minato and Kushina were in the office as the uranium didn't go that far and then another attack hit the almighty push from Tendo Pain. As Saya came back to the village, as she saw all the chaos and everything, as she spotted Pain, as she went over there. Meanwhile, Naruto spotted Minato. As Minato told Kushin and the others to get out of here, he will handle Naruto. As the both of them started the battle, as Minato tried his best to subdue Naruto, even though he was holding back. He didn't stop holding back as he started drilling Naruto with Rasengan's after Rasengan's. As Minato placed a seal on Naruto and appeared in front of him, driving a three prompt Huna through his heart and two in his legs and two in his arms as he stabbed Naruto into the ground. But Naruto exploded outwards with Dark Chakra as he then drive forward to impale Minato. But then, Kakashi came in the way and took the stab as Kakashi fell down as Minato watched him. As the blood poured from his wounds, as Kakashi took his final breath. As Naruto saw the opening, as he sliced right through Minato, as Minato collapsed as well. Meanwhile, Saya entered the tail beast state as he was facing off against Tendo Pain as the battle was going hard. As Saya felt herself being controlled by the fox as she was about to rip off the seal, when Shinigami King came there and fixed her seal, as he told her to not let herself get influenced. As this is all a part of it, and she's a big part. As the meter in the sky that Tendo Pain created exploded as Saya came out, as she restarted the battle. Saya was able to get the real pain and talk him out of all of this nonsense. As he revived everyone who died that day, including Minato and Kakashi. As time passed, Madara came as he was wearing a new mask. As he sent Sasuke and his team to go gather the eight tails. As he came back with the news, saying that the redhead betrayed them that was on Sasuke's team, and Kisame got killed by B and his brother. They're going to war as they have to gather the last two Bijus. So yeah guys, that was basically last what we left off. You guys can switch your cosplays and check it out for yourself. So what do you say we start this new episode? Jubi walked through the forest as she was going back to the compound after getting a few supplies. She sealed all the supplies into the scroll and she was now heading back. Jubi, a voice called out. As Jubi froze, knowing who that voice belonged to. Shinigami King, she said. As his ghostly figure formed some feet away from her. Hello, Jubi, said Shinigami King. What do you want, said Jubi. Nothing. It's been a while since I've seen you. And I was wondering, will you really help the Akaski if they win? I will, said Jubi. 
I release a sage of six path from my stomach. I feel like it's unfair. You left the moon for so long, so I release him. He wished me to tell you to not fall down to the human emotions that you have gained. He doesn't wish for the world to be led to an era of war. If the Akaski win an era of war, tch. I don't really care, she said. I didn't say that. It's not about who wins. It's about how the winner wins, he said. I'm afraid I must go now, he said. Think over my words, and with that he vanished. Juby growled, why was the bastard so sudden? And he always speak these riddles and then vanish. Screw you, she said. Time skip, Kimimaru, you will be going down with the miss, unit. You will be walking alongside the swordsman of the miss. All the powerful that is. While this is going on, you will go through the allied shinobi forces and cut through them, injure or kill. Either way, it will take them down a step or two. Jubei, you will be storing your power to the final attack, where you will transform into your full beast form and attack them all. During that time, more will be revived. Naruto, you will be cutting through the forces. It doesn't matter where you go, just kill. Leave a path of murder and destruction, Madara listed off. Seems easy enough, Jubei said, as Kimimaru and Naruto nodded. Kabuto is moving to the Turtle Island to hopefully get the eight heals. He's bringing some revival back up with him as well. After this, the war will be official. Time skip, Saya sigh as she was cloaked in the yellow chakra form as she catch a boulder. She was bored. All she was doing is training. Nothing to do. All she was thinking about is her brother. Her brother who was destined to become the dark twin as she remembered the prophecy by the elder Toad Sage. She and her brother both destined to kill each other. As it read, the moment notice, one will be born, one will lead this world to peace, but for the cause of taking the other's life, who will try to drive the world into darkness. Saya sighed as she then turned her attention back to her training as a boulder nearly smashed into her face. Time skip, Jubei and Kim Mar was training as Jubei was controlling the puppets with her chakra strings as Kim Mar had bones coming out of all parts of his body as he was slicing the puppets to pieces. As Naruto ran out, I found something cool he said. It's called Baruko he said. It's a mix of steel, silver and iridium. Iridium is the densest metal on earth. The three are compacted together and it made this Naruto said. Juby frown, you can barely push your chakra into iranium. So what can you do with that? She said. Chakra iron, Naruto said. You teach me how to make chakra iron. True, chakra iron anyway. And because of that, I can control this bad boy, he said. As he flipped around the metal in his hand, it reflects all type of ninjutsu toss at me. Really? Said Juby. What does it take to go through it? Weakness and strength, she asked. From my experiments, I figure that it can be melted from 100,000 Fahrenheit, a very very powerful fire ninjutsu that drained me completely. Kim Mar smirked, so can you make armor out of that metal he asked. Yeah, but it's pretty heavy Naruto said, as he handed Kim Mar the metal. As Kim Mar could barely hold it up, okay, wow, he said. Some strength training can be helped Naruto said, you know, like putting some chakra into your arms, legs and knees. Make me the armor, please. I'll do the training, said Kimaru. Sure thing, Nerta said, as he then turned to Jubei. Do you want armor as well? Chest arm and shoulder armor. Link them with chains, she said. Hey, you just gave me an idea, Nerta said. I'm gonna create chains out of the metals. Jubi laughed as she loved seeing Naruto getting more and more ideas on what to do with his bloodline. Time skip, it was a day of the attack. As Jubi was in her armor that Naruto created for her, which she loved so much. As Kimaru was wearing it as well. But he had it in special places so that his bones could spurt from his body. As Naruto decided not to use any of the armor. As he created a lot of weapons out of his new metal though. As Madara has given the group detailed information where they should go. And they listened to him. Jubi hated to be told what to do but she went with it. As did Naruto while Kimimaru had no problem. As he wanted to make sure that Naruto know that he himself is prepared for war. Ready for war? Jubi asked. Ready, Kimar said. As Naruto nodded, let's do this, he said. As Jubei sucked all of them into a swirling vortex. Time skip, Saya glared at Aruka as she couldn't believe this. 
as he and the other Anvus and her mother as well. They wanted to stop her from going to fight. But if they are not going to let her through, she will force her damn way through. Earlier, the allied forces steer at the army of white Zetsus coming from the water. A metal spike shot out from the water as the group watched as Naruto landed on top of it. As he smiled at all of the allied shinobi forces as thousands of metal spikes were created behind him. As he released them, many of them were able to dodge and create some earth attack. But some of them weren't that lucky as needles fly through their eye socket, peering through their skull killing them. As Naruto jumped off the iron podium, as he created two blades, he then dashed forward towards a group of shinobis ready to slice them down. Meanwhile, Jubu was sitting on a tree as she could feel the essence of Hoshirama Senju. As she wondered would he like what Madara is about to do to the world. Of course he wouldn't she thought. As she wondered if that certain tree is still in place. As she vanished in a swirling vortex. Some miles away Jubi emerged on the vortex as she stood in front of a stream as the chirps of the birds. The place was calm and soothing. A deer was drinking from the stream as everything seemed peaceful and calm. A tree grew over the stream that ran down multiple flat face rocks as there were words carved into the trunk made the fire burn no matter what happened the protection of the tree would last the fire will rage the fire will burn and the fire will heal itself Hoshirama and Madara had carved that in as soon as they finished Konoha Jubi couldn't help but smile sadly as she liked those two as she knew what was going to happen to the world but she didn't care Naruto will come with her to hell. I am sorry, Hoshirama, but Konoha will burn, she said. As she drives her hand down into the wood, destroying the tree bark. Back on the battlefield, Kakazu, Naruto said. As Naruto could help but feel a boil of happiness as he saw Kakazu moved around, but then he noticed he was being controlled by either Madara or Kabuto. So he's not the Kakazu that he knows. As Naruto felt something behind him as he dodged, as he drove the blade forward tearing through his opponent's chest, killing him instantly. I am not a fool Naruto said, as four other shinobis rushed at him. As Naruto stood there, as a blade ran through his neck, one ran through his head and one ran through his chest and the other one through his stomach. We got him one of the men said. Black Chakra disintegrated all the blades that were within him as a smile came on Naruto's face. As his claws and his fangs extended, as he leapt forward tearing through the man's faces, as he gouged out one of their eyes, ripping out one of their hearts, and driving his hand through one of their stomach, killing the four of them in a swift move. As he then created his new metal, as he extended to a long degree, as he swung it around, as the force of it took down 10 shinobis with one hit it was so brutal it cracked their skulls. Meanwhile, Jubu was bored as she could feel the injury that Naruto got, but they healed, as Madara would let her fight, as he wanted her to build up her power and focus it. Before she take her form from the statue and transform into her fully beast form, in total she just have several worth of chakra, not counting the extra chakra that she gathered over the years. Jubu sighed as she lied down in the grass. I'm gonna take a nap, she said, as she closed her eyes. Meanwhile, Kim Maru frowned as Madara gave him a new plan that he was to sneak into Konoha and kill as many innocent civilians as possible. As he didn't like that, he knew that Naruto killed a bunch of civilians, but he still didn't like it. They were not here to fight, but he was supposed to go there and kill them. But he will still do it because Naruto will do it, as he's currently at Konoha. Hey, who are you? A child said as soon as Kim Maru arrived at the Hokage's tower. As Kim Maru saw a group of Jenin, Ah, oh, I see. They left the Jennings behind. That doesn't mean we can't fight. I am Konohamru. That's Udon and Mogi. And we're gonna kick your ass. Kim Mar snorted. I am an ex rank criminal. And you're three Jennings. You couldn't even beat a high Chunin teamed up, he stated. Ebisu Sensei is here. And he's a Jonin sent Konohamru. As Mogi looked at him, you idiot. Why did you tell him that? Now he will be on guard. Kim Mar is an eyebrow, Ebisu. Sorry children, I'm not here to play Kimar said. As he appeared in front of them in an instant, their eyes went wide. 
but he jumped over them. As he ran into the village, the heart of the village, we have to alert the village, said Konohamaru. Meanwhile, Naruto's hand was deep in a man's chest. As he ripped out his hand, as he saw the blood all the way down to his elbow, as it was dripping to the floor. As Naruto licked some of the blood off his claws, maybe I am insane, he said. As he dashed forward towards another. Meanwhile, Soya glared at the fort Raikage, A. Eh? As he and her mother was there, blocking them from entering the battlefield. As she and Killer B wanted to join the battle. Why won't you let us through, Soya said. You could be captured by the Akaski, said Kushina. That is not all Killer B said. Yo, I know it's not all he said. Yes, Naruto Namikaze is fighting and he's a walking path of murder. No one has been able to harm him. It has been proven that all of the Bijus are being held by him. His healing abilities are godly. You two may be the only way we can defeat and kill him. And you're also holding the last Biju that the Akaski wants. If you lose, we lose our only chance of winning. Even if we kill all of the remaining Akaski, Naruto will still be there, he said. He won't arm Saya, said Kushina. She is the reason why Kakashi is alive. She may be the one able to defeat him without killing him. And it may be the only way. Killer B on the other hand, he may not have a problem in killing him. Suddenly, a cold shiver ran through the ground. What was that, Saya said. I don't know, but I don't like it. You two, stay put, A said. Meanwhile, with Naruto. Naruto, that Raikage, I believe that is what he's called. He has ill intentions on your sister. The other Jinjunki is with him as well. And your mother, said Jashin. Naruto hum as he licked the blood off his fingers. You may go and kill that Raikage. I don't like him, said Jashin. Naruto nodded, decided not to question Jashin, disliking of certain people. As he covered his body in Jubis chakra as he listened to the weird, Jashin told him the Raikage was. As Naruto moved off with incredible speed. Saya, Killer B, step back, said Kushina. No, I will fight, Saya growled, as the yellow chakra flared up slightly. Agreed, I will fight this dangerous new force, alongside my friend Killer B said, giving a thumbs up. Black chakra suddenly appeared and slammed right into Kushina. Kushina gave a scream as she was pinned down to the ground. The chakra became more clear to reveal Naruto's form as he held his sharp claws towards his mother's throat. Naruto Namikaze, he said. I am not a Namikaze, you dumb brute. I am Naruto of the Akaski. Get it right, Naruto said. Naruto, Kushina said. You are the reason why he don't die. You and that damn Yamato. You may be my mother, but I'll still kill you. Go ahead and kill me, said Kushina. But what good would it do? You're proving that you're insane, that you're no longer human. No, Saya, Kushina said. I saw I wanted to blast Naruto with a sing gun. Naruto, I blinded myself saying that Ejube is just affecting you. That demon isn't what's affecting you. It's yourself. You're insane. You and that damn god of yours, Kushina said. Picked up on Joshin, huh? Well, he and I would have showed her immortality anyways. And by the way, yeah, I'm insane. I saw you step forward, but it was too late. As Naruto ripped out her neck. As Saya dashed forward, as she pulled back her fist, tears leaking from her eyes, but Naruto grabbed her hand and swing her away. As he carved the Jashin symbol right into Kushina's chest, the Raikage then dashed towards Naruto as his cloak of lightning was all around him. But before his fist could connect, an iron wall was created as Raikage punched it, as it exploded, as Naruto appeared behind him, and Naruto drove down a metal. That teared through his shoulder. As Nerd delivered a brutal kick to Raikage back, sending him flying away. As Sawyer rushed over to Kushner, as Kushner was still hanging out alive. Sawyer, she said, as it was barely a whisper. As Sawyer had to put her ears very, very, very close. Naruto has no chance of revival. You will have to kill him. Please tell Minato that I love him. And remember, I'll always love you, Saya. As she then stopped talking, as she was dead. Saya broke down as the yellow chakra faded away, as she started to cry on her mother's chest. A pulled out the metal rod. We gotta be careful, he said, as he looked at Killer B. 
I don't have time for your nurse's aid, Zoya. I'll return for you later. Meanwhile, with Minato, Hukaki sama on of ninja said, Kushina was killed by Naruto. Wh what? Said Minato. The Raikage is heading back with Kushina's body. Saya and Killer B are moving forward with permission. As Minato sit down in his chair and didn't say anything. Some time passed as the Raikage arrived with Kushina's body. As the Raikage handed over the body towards her of the medic. He killed his own mother, he said. Naruto Namikaze, the one that almost destroyed Konoha, on he said. As Minato collapsed down in his chair, yes, the Raikage said. Before he left, he said he got me and you, said the Raikage. Did he stab you anywhere? Asked Minato. Yes, the Raikage said, he stabbed me. Where exactly is this going? Asked Meitorume. As Minato stood up. As he removed his ninja sandals and showed his big toe, to show the diamond that was coming up as it was crystallizing. Naruto bloodline he was given to by the Jubei. He can turn a human body into a mineral. And this is what it did to me, eventually. It will hit something important and I will die. The Raikage ripped off his bandage as he saw the wound was gone as a small silver patch was there and it was growing bigger. He's turning the both of you into minerals. How long do you have? Gara asked. I have at least a year, said Minato. However, the Raikage, he may only have a week or so, seeing the wound, as there was silence in the room. The war has to end before that, said Oniki. Indeed, said me. Minato sighed as he rubbed his temples. He wanted to cry. He really do. But he couldn't. He had to stay strong for Soya. For Kushna, as he will kill Naruto. He have to stop this path of destruction and chaos. He has to kill him. I can rip the Jubi from Naruto, Minato said. Once I get the Jubi out in his weakened state, he can be killed rather easily. And where would we see the beast, may ask? Into a new host, an object, not another human. I'm surprised that Naruto can even handle all of that chakra. I will help to kill that damn bastard if I'm going to die. I'm going to help kill him, he said. As no one opposed, but no one spoke up to agree either. With Naruto, why did you leave? asked Jashin. My mother is dead, the Raikage will die in two weeks, and my father will die in ten months. Saya will be blocked by emotions and it will be easier to get the Kayubi from her. Killer B, I will have to fight myself. Smart boy, said Jashin. Perhaps, Naruto said, as he leaned against a tree. As Naruto felt something running down his face, Am I crying? He said. As he laughed out like a maniac. No, I can't be feeling guilty. As he looked on his hands to see it was shaking. As he could see his mother's blood. No, no, I'm insane, he said. I can't feel guilty. After this war, everything will be good, he said. I won't go insane. I won't, he said. As he closed his eyes. But it didn't matter. Tears were still flowing out. Meanwhile with Juby. It appears I was wrong, said a voice, as Jubi didn't even have to turn around knowing that Shinigami King was there. What do you mean, asked Jubi, as she was ripping the grass out of the ground and blowing them around. Naruto killed his mother, something no one guessed. He appeared to be going insane. If this continue, not even Saya will be able to stop an attack of murder and pure destruction. Jashin is the cause of this. Sure, blame Jashin, said Jubi as she rolled her eyes. But she also felt a bad feeling in her stomach. All of his followers get a blood loss and eventually drive them into insanity from their immunity to death. It's a curse of Jashin. In the end, he will lead an era of war. His sister will lead an era of peace. Goodbye, Jubei, he said as he vanished. Jubi grit her teeth. She wouldn't let Naruto die. She wouldn't let him go insane, no matter what that Shinigami King said. She wouldn't. Come on, said Saya as she was dashing through the forest to kill her bee. I know what I have to do, even if. You're going to kill your brother, aren't you? Killer bee asked. Yes, Saya said. Time skip. What are the casualties? Onki asked. A total of 73 deaths on our side. We have sealed all of the revivals from the first attack, with a plus of 5 more. Two died, but we don't know exactly why, said Inuichi Yamanaka. Naruto killed 16 of the deaths on our side. 
and the other 13 was gathered from the revive. Luckily, we were able to team up on the revive thanks to our large numbers in Inuichi. As May spoke, what are we going to do against that Brachi axe? Obviously, he's more powerful than the leader of the Akaske. He cannot be killed though. We can probably disintegrate him, said Minato, as he turned to Onki. And what is your plan, Onki asked. Gar will use his sand to tie her to the ground. I will keep my shuriken around in radius so I can flash to him before he escape out of range. I'll rip the jubi away from him and seal it into a jar before we can find something more permanent for it and the Mizukaiko will cover him in a layer of lava. And when it cools, you perform your technique on him, Oniki, said Minato. Good plan, A said, but what about me? You will be the one to injure him a bit so we can keep him down, said Minato. I like it, Mei said. As all of them nodded in agreement, there is just one downside. As everyone turned, Shinigami, said Minato. I am not supposed to interfere with humans, but God has ordered me to tell you something so that you have a better chance. It's about the Sage of Six Path and the seal. He left, the Shinigami King said, ignoring them as they were shocked as hell to see this thing. Here floating, especially Mater Rumi and Gara. Meanwhile, Naruto walked down the forest as he felt a pounding in his head, as he didn't know what was wrong, but he tried to ignore it. As Jubi Chakra tried to pull him back, but it wasn't working as Naruto just continued to walk. As he continued to walk, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. That is the only thing he can think about. What's wrong with me? Am I already insane? He thought. No, something else is wrong. As he continued to walk. As Naruto then found himself in front of Konoha, how did I get here? He said. As Naruto fell to his knees, as his pupil became more slitted and his claws grew out and his whisker marks became dark with a touch of white in them. More minutes passed as Naruto felt like his body was being torn apart. The pain was overwhelming as he lost consciousness. Meanwhile, Jubei, as she felt it, slow income of power, her power to be exact, as she could feel it roaming around in a seal, inside of a seal that would keep the both of them together, the seal that keeps Naruto as a Jinzuki. Naruto is turning into a demon. It's the work of the Shinigami King. He wants the war to tip in the other's favor, Jashin said. What? He can't interfere with the human world, said Jubei. They had some demon do it for them. He's not directly doing it, said Jashin. Jubei screamed out as she could feel it as well. Something was wrong as she collapsed on the ground. How dare they? Naruto needs my chakra. Don't they realize this, she said as a pounding pain started to hit her body. Don't worry, I will keep my life, Jashin said. They are doing this because they know without your chakra, it will take him longer to heal. Thus him being able to be weakened and sealed. Damn it, Jubi said, as she smashed her fist into the ground, as her chakra bubbled out of her skin in anger and fury. Calm down, we will defeat them, said Jashin. Meanwhile, with Kimaru, he just sliced down three civilians. Rasengan! As Kimaru moved out of the way, after a single smash into the ground. What do you want, said Kimaru? You just killed three people. And you don't even feel a thing. How could you do that, said Konamaru? Naruto Sama has told me to do whatever I can do to help with the war, even if it means killing civilians. Naruto? You mean Saya, brother? said Konamaru. As Mogi and Udon came up, that crazy guy who killed hundreds of civilians? I apologize for this, but I must, Kimmar said, as he created bone blades, as he appeared behind them and knocked them, as they dropped down unconscious. He had orders to kill civilians, and he wouldn't kill these children, as he used his bones and pinned them to the ground, so if they wake up they won't follow after him, as he had many more to kill as he jumped off. Meanwhile, Juby arrived, Naruto, she said, as she rushed over to where he was. Wake up, she said, as she tried to wake him. Come on, wake up! As tears started to fall up in her eyes. Please, wake up, she cried out. As fear and panic overtook her. What if they killed him? What if transformation killed him? As her teeth started to get large. I'll kill all of them. I'll murder each and every one of them, she said. As a dark, ominous chakra started to glow around her. Jubei, stop shaking me, Naruto said. As he opened his eyes slowly. Your eyes, Jubi said, as they were purple. 
What happened in order to ask? The Shinigami King find a loophole and in order to help the other side, he transform you into a demon. How does that weaken me in order to say it as he sit up? You as a demon, meaning I am no longer sealed to you, meaning that you can be killed. Your healing abilities are stripped away with me leaving your body and you can also be sealed away as well. My bloodline is still intact right near to Axe. Of course, you still have all of your natural power and I can give you some of my chakra to help you, but I cannot give you any through the seal again until I perform the ritual to turn you into my heir. Your ear Nerta said. Yes, by doing so I will share my power with you. It's what I'm planning to do after the war ends. Why not now Nerta asks. I need my full body to create the bond. You will need to drink some of my blood when I'm in my full form. And in thus, you create a bond between mother and son. And thus you will become a demon prince my ear, she said. Great, he said, as he let his head fall back to the ground. Do you still wish to fight, she asked. Yes, give me some of your chakra, I'm going to need it, Nerta said. What are you planning, she asked. I'm planning my ultimate attack. I'm going to rip Konoha apart, and I'm going to end this battle in one blow. Juby eyes widen. Naruto, are you sure you can perform that, she asked. I can, Nerta said. I'll get my animalistic body from the statue, and we will start the final attack. I will have to tell Madara, she stated, as she stood up. Get Kimar out of here, said Naruto. As Juby nodded as she disappeared in a swirling vortex. As soon as she was gone, Naruto closed his eyes. You're joking, said Minato. I am not. You can break the seal yourself, but you're going to need this, he said, as he waved his hand over the decks. The five Kage's watch a single glowing white orb form on the table. You must carry that ball of energy into the center and let it touch the seal. Once it breaks, you will win. But you must control the energy into the orb. So that it won't explode outwards. If it does, destruction that the human world has never seen before will happen. Why are you helping us, May asks. I do not wish for an era of war. That will happen if the other side win. Jube will be leading this world into hell, along with Naruto at her side. However, you will reseal Jube into her prison, but Naruto will remain alive. But the chosen one can stop him. If he hasn't lost his sanity yet, as he then vanished into a coil of smoke. As all of the Kages looked at each other, this was a sure plan. Kim Mar frowned as he was back at the compound as Juby went off. As he didn't know what was going on, all she said that she and Naruto was going to let loose an attack to end all of this, and they didn't want him to be harmed. Time skip, Juby smiled as she explained her plan to Madara as the statue started to break. As the dark chakra started to leak out, Juby jumped forward as it enveloped her. As her thoughts was pushed towards the memory of the ultimate attack that Naruto would be performing. Flashback. Juby rolled her eyes as Naruto was telling her something about the ultimate attack that he created, but he will need her help to perform it. In all honesty, he was acting like a hyper child, which brought a small smile to her lips. She knew that Naruto loved demonstrating things that he created. He felt smart and proud of himself when Juby said it was a good idea. That's the main reason why she always half listened to him. Even if the idea was something she didn't like, she always listened just to make sure that he was happy. As she loved seeing him happy, he was like her son. With your help, Nerka said, breaking her from her thoughts, the blast will destroy over 1000 mile radius. It will turn into pure radiation and no one will be able to live there for years. The air would be poison itself except for me as it's mostly made up out of my chakra. With your help, it can be performed. I call it the ultimate attack bomb, Nerta said. As Juby blink. That's not a bad idea, she said. And we can also use it in the war. As Nerta smiled, as Juby smiled back. In the flashback, Juby hummed as she opened her eyes, as she was back in her animalistic form. Then she sighed. She knew that she had to turn back into her human form to help out with the technique. Then again she can get there by running, as she turned and nodded to Madara, as she flicked her eight tails, as she then dashed off to Konoha, towards Naruto, towards the final attack destination. Meanwhile, Naruto was looking down in the water, as he was looking at his reflection, he looked different, more demonic, and in all honesty, he liked it. He doesn't like no longer being Jubi's Jinjulki, as he feel like something was missing, that Jubi was distance away from him. 
as he sighed as he got up as he ran his hand through his hair as he felt like he was losing his mind but he won't let that happen after the war is over he will control himself meanwhile Juby sniffed the ground looking for Naruto as she came back to the spot where he was last but he wasn't there as she found him as she went over toward the stream as she transformed back into her human form and walked over Naruto wakey wakey she called but Naruto simply snuggled up into the green grass Juby eye twitch Naruto it's time to prepare for the attack she said as Naruto eyes shot open hearing that as he stood up yes yes he said Juby rolled her eyes come on we have to prepare Madara is leading them close to Konoha as the final attack would happen in two days time I will attack first my large animalistic form while you prepare the attack okay as Naruto nodded as he stretched out his arms meanwhile Hokage you will be the one to carry the orb only you have the control to do so said Onki as Minato walked over and picked up the orb it was like a Rasengan as it was glowing in his hand as it glowed bright in his hands as his eyes widened what is it Gar asked it's amazing the power is the purest form of energy I've ever felt but yet it feels so dark Minato said it is like it's soaked in death but it's still so pure and bright he said the Shinigami King created it so I guess it would said me where is the seal he asked the center of my village covered by the Hokage tower he said huh how did I it seemed like that orb also give you knowledge me said indeed we will move all of our forces ahead but you will go first break the seal before we arrive and understand it how fast can you get there he asked I have multiple kunais in my office I can get there now he said Inoichi send out the information Minato called as everyone agreed with this plan as Minato flashed off with the orb as he arrived at Konoha but guys be in tips right here if you want to see the next part of this you know what to do like subscribe comment down below and turn the bell notifications they posted remember to share to all of your friends here on social media platform but for now uh, I'm out for you guys peace